earth facing rapid developments due to climate change affecting the food supply in many parts of Asia and Europe, what can we do to help reverse these changes? That was the question the conference Circular Food Systems – Solutions to Reverse Climate Change sought to answer. The virtual conference, organised by Asia-Europe Environmental Forum and its consortium partners, was designed to be participatory, promoting exchanges on pathways and practical solutions for the adoption of Sustainable Consumption and Production SCP practices in food systems. More than 800 million people are hungry daily. That is 10% of the world population. And climate change has a dramatic impact on the conditions for food production. Until now, the international community has failed to provide satisfying answers. Very clearly, these are huge challenges uh, and they will take a transformative uh, change. But on the other hand, it's, it's clear that food and agriculture have to be part of the solution. And there are opportunities for climate change mitigation from the sector, from food production. The conference explored four thematic streams, culminating in four policy briefs covering challenges and potential solutions for each thematic area. These are some of the key outcomes from each stream. First, on agriculture, participants agreed that regenerative agriculture represented an essential opportunity for adapting to climate change in a sustainable way, while maintaining that the levels of food production commensurate with rising demand. In terms of short-term actions, participants favoured a cooperative approach between public authorities and private actors. In support of natural solutions to climate change and soil degradation in food systems, the session stressed the role of indigenous communities and indigenous knowledge. Second, on the role of SMEs in circular food production, while participants acknowledge the important role SMEs play, there is a need for awareness raising along the supply chain, as well as with public authorities who need to enact policies to support circular approaches. Current incentives for SMEs to enter the circular food market are also too low. There needs to be a shift towards financing and fiscal support for circular practices in agriculture and food production. Third, on food policy and security. The discussion recognised the need for a food system approach and the need to unpack the imbalances in the food system. There is also the need to change the narrative surrounding our food system, not only for food production, but also to secure nutritious and healthy food for all. Smallholder farmers should also be at the centre of food policies as their involvement can contribute to securing food security for all. Policies need to change into actions, particularly on the adoption of circular food systems as the new normal. Lastly, on international food trade, as policymakers globally move from COVID-19 crisis management to recovery planning, governments need to increase coordination to avoid further global disruption to food supply and elevate market confidence. The increased global focus on food supply and the need for resilient food systems will in turn create opportunities to accelerate discussions on agricultural innovations, the need for continued investments in the sector, and the pragmatic reality that agricultural research, production and trade of goods are globally interdependent. To read the full policy briefs and find out more about the conference, please visit the conference page.